Hello and welcome to the Auto Loans YouTube channel and today we are back with some Gran Turismo Sport. Since the new GT game got announced for the new PS5, updates for this game have been a bit sparse but there was a new one couple of weeks ago with the latest car that has been generating a lot of buzz on the internet, the Toyota GR Yaris. Lo and behold, it's on our screen right now, but I think it's we should just head over to Brand Central to check it out. Here we see the full variant name which is quite a mouthful, the GR Yaris First Edition RZ High Performance which is the top spec variant. GR stands for Toyota's motorsport department called Gazoo Racing and they brought the Japanese brand back to rallying in 2017. This is a homologation special as Toyota intends to base its next WRC contender on the back of this car so it's a fully tricked out 4 wheel drive hot hatch. Its 1.6 liter 3 cylinder turbo motor makes a sprightly 268 brake horsepower and 370 meters of torque. The GR Yaris comes with a 6 speed manual shifter and can vary its power distribution between front and rear axles. You can have full race mode with 5050 or a slide happy 7030 setting as well. You can't cycle through a car's driving modes in the game, so I imagine it's going to be set to max attack as default. The GR Yaris shares very little with the standard Yaris hatch that it is based on. Got a much wider stance with large wheel arches, a different roof line, and a chunky rear end. The front is mean too, with the massive A dam and functional air vents for cooling the large brakes. Toyota has done a lot of clever stuff with the suspension, chassis reinforcement, and its GR4 four wheel drive system, which is beyond my explaining without talking directly to someone from Toyota. I can share from the PR that it has a limited slip differential for both front and rear axles which is important for its rally style driving experience. The inside is quite simple with some analog dials, a practical touchscreen infotainment system and it's even got seats in the back for a school run. You can check out more detailed videos on it from far smarter people on YouTube who got to drive the car in real life as well. In my head I summarize it as thus. Toyota has gone out of its way to build a rally focused car so that they can use it for racing instead of trying to build something with a specific buyer in mind. The GIRS has been hyped by just about every reviewer, reviewer out there and if all falls into place this could be Toyota's very own EVO moment. Let's get back to the game now where we can see it doesn't cost us too many credits, less than 46,000 as it happens. The color choices on offer are limited just for Super White 2, White Pearl Mica, Emotional Red 2 and Precious Black Pearl. I'm going to stick with the white as it seems to be the best stock look for the GR Yaris. Luckily at the time of recording this, GT Sport is hosting a time trial event as part of the promo for the new Toyota Rally Red Hot Hatch. So that's where we're going to test it out. It's on the Sardinia dirt track so it's ideal conditions to find out what this baby can do. Disclaimer: In case you're new to this channel, I'm not good at this game and I only use a controller so don't expect particularly fast times or high standard of driving. I do enjoy this game a lot and that's why I like doing these videos. That's enough chit chat, let's get into it. Right off the bat this thing sounds pretty good, then it's a 3 pot turbo engine. Quick 2, gets it to speed real nice. Whoops, I always hated that jump. Feels too hard for this game. Still getting a hang of the car and the gearing. It's quite nice, and the shorter dimensions make it easier to change direction. It's so grippy. Mild hints of interest here. I'm in Solid brakes. Solid brakes. Uh, apparently, the front brakes on this thing are bigger than the front brakes in this suit. Go figure.
I'm gonna be cautious through here and remember that it's quite tight ahead. It's like playing a rally game, but more chill. See what? Let's try this again, but in the cockpit. Like I said, the interior is quite civil. You have nothing that's too complicated. It takes care of all the basics with some sporty touches. All the attention is on the driving experience. You can see the avatar moving his hand off the wheel to change gears manually. Holding that angle. Keeping traction just enough to keep the momentum. It's a lot. This thing in game is a lot of fun. Like I've I've played this game a lot under tight cars or various events, but this is just fun moving around the dirt track and daily driver. It's quick, but not. So quick that you can end up making a fast end up like an expensive mistake. It's fun and responsive. Even the people who got to review this car, especially the UK reviewers who I follow closely, they talk about how the throttle always has a sense of urgency. Like it's it wants to go, go, go. And I'm sure the experience of the manual shifter must add to that driver engagement as well. Okay, so these are definitely not the quickest laps uh, around this track, but I am enjoying it a lot. Like, it requires enough focus that I'm trying to keep it on track and facing the right way, but it's not making me super anxious. That 50-50 uh, power distribution really helps you keep your foot down while making your way through wide corners like this without like, just losing the rear end. Crashing control is off. Of course, of course it could be. I suppose if you are going to actually uh, compete with this car. Toyota does offer an RC package which is the same as this in terms of equipment with uh, maybe a few more uh, competition spec parts. I'm sure the rear seat elite with a roll cage would be a popular choice for people who really want to push this thing to the limit. Here's the big bump. And it's gonna look very tunish. Yep. It's not a bad lap. So before we try this car on the tarmac track, let's just see a replay of one of my quicker laps around the Sardinia dirt track. <laughs> Thank you. 
track drive. I chose the Kyoto Driving Park with its full layout, which uh, combines the Yamagiva and the Miyabi layouts in the game. So it's a nice uh, technical track, a lot of different types of uh, corners, good straights. This motor does like to rev and you can rev it, you know, if you want. And thanks to those like strong brakes, you can keep the accelerator pinned to the last minute since the speed it reaches aren't even that high. You do have to be careful of the timing. There is some understeer through corner exits, but I suppose that's to be expected with a front engine four wheel drive car. Even one as short and uh, nimble as this. This is where I made a mistake because I forgot the breaking point for this corner was. Yeah, so big breaks or not, you gotta remember where to stop. Let's try another lap, this time from the outside. Even though it's a very sporty car, um, from this angle it looks quite chunky. Rear end. It's so planted. Even on tarmac or asphalt, um, with the traction control turned off and the car in just regular sports hard compounds in the game, um, it's, it's a really grippy car. And I think a lot of it is down to the amazing four-wheel drive system that David had developed sort of for the WRC car and it offered it in here. Breaking well in advance this time. Still getting a bit too late. But the brakes not, not taking into account for the extra gravity down the street. It's quite dirty when you turn in, but it can understand a bit if you, uh, to, if, you, if you get on the power a bit too early, as you'll see through the exit of this corner, luckily I kind of got it a bit slide, and it opens up the next uh, section of the type corners. See what I mean about the understeer. There it is. I mean, it could just be my lack of ability, but that is a reputable trade in for me. It's, 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 it's such a good, it's such a fun little car in game um, from all the reviews I've seen from people I watch, uh, not necessarily journalistic outfits, uh, owners and reviewers, and everybody's quite excited with what the GRRs has to offer. Let's watch a full replay of this fast lap without me talking about it.
I think the Toyota GR Yaris is an icon in the making and a lot of it will depend on how well Toyota does in the 2021 World Rally Championship. Yes, it was developed by GR and Tommy Mackinnon and this pairing has already got serious rally results. Manufacturer champions in 2018, driver's title in 2019 and 2020 and runners up in the manufacturer's title for 2020. The 2021 Yaris has a lot to live up to, the rally version. But for this peppy little road car, it has already found a cozy spot in the world of petrol heads. Small, usable, quick, and with racing heritage, the GR Yaris is a highly desirable hot hatch. Thanks for watching this episode of GT Sport Reviews. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if there's a particular car you'd like me to review from the game. And don't forget to subscribe to the Autoloons channel for more content. If you want more up-to-date car stuff along with some F1 coverage, check out the Autoloons blog which is linked in the description below. See you guys next time. Ciao.